Stuart, the accounts have just been released and uh, they make pretty positive reading. Yeah, no, it, it's been uh, another year where we've uh, continued to strengthen the, the financial base of the club. No, it's it's coming on for three years now since we were able to eliminate the debt. Uh, that, that was a huge burden off the, uh, the, the, the club's back. Uh, we've continued to grow the turnover and for a third year in a row we've delivered a, a, a reasonable profit. But I, I think everyone within the, the club and I think most people uh, outside the club that the, the, the biggest single thing that's enabled us to achieve that is our consistent performance on, on the park and it's been another fantastic year in that front. Disappointing after so coming so close in all three fronts that uh, we weren't able to deliver a piece of silverware but uh, I think a fantastic performance by the team and by the whole team behind the scenes at the club. The, one of the key indicators has always been traditionally the wages to turnover ratio which at, at times was very very high but it's, it's now mm. at, at a place where it's totally acceptable. Yeah and, and, and to be fair to the, the, the game as a whole I think that was a, an important measure that was br brought in some time ago. It probably took a long time for clubs to really pick it up and, and, and appreciate the importance of it but it's, it's, it's been a good guide for football and I, I think it would be fair to say that the bulk of the clubs in Scotland are able to operate within the parameters that are recognised as kind of where they, they should be and once again no, we're in, in, in a good place in that respect. And over £3 million pounds of additional investment in the, in the year. Yeah, no, I, I'd say it been absolutely fantastic to, to, to get that investment in. Uh, the, the bulk of that investment is very much targeted towards delivering the, uh, the new facilities. It has uh, put us in a position where we, we now have just over 60% of the, the funds required to deliver phase one in place, that's either cash into the club or commitments that will eventually come through in, 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 in a, a, is cash. And I think the other important factor, although we're saying that we've kept the, the wages ratio in line, we have been able to effectively invest another million pounds a year into the, 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 the football operation because it's vital that we continue to find every way we can to get more money into that football budget. At the same time, making sure we, we don't start to lead the club down the wrong path. And other, other highlights, turnover is up, there's an operating profit, which uh, given where we were, say, 10 years ago, just uh, they look absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah, no, and I, I, I think... Uh, Everyone within the club can be satisfied that you know, the, their, their efforts are really starting to, 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 to pay dividends. It's been a big challenge to get the club to where it is now. Uh, but as was again said in a, a number of occasions, you know, we've got ourselves well positioned to, to face up to the challenge that we've got over the next five years. And the scale of that challenge is going to be substantially greater than this club has ever been confronted with before.